Madam Chancellor, it's an honor to have you here with us today to deliver your first public lecture in Australia. The Second World War had a profound effect on both of our lives. For you, it led to the partition and the reunification of your homeland. For me, as a Holocaust survivor, it was the reason for my immigration to Australia. Let me remind all of you of flight MH17, the Malaysian aircraft that was um, shot down. Many lives were lost, lost and among the victims uh, there are uh, 38 citizens and residents from Australia and uh, four Germans. Who would have thought that 25 years after the fall of the war, after the end of the Cold War, after the end of the division of Europe and the end of the world being divided in two blocks, something like that? that can happen right at the heart of Europe. You may remember candidate Barack Obama visiting Berlin in 2008. And one of the things he said then was, true partnership and true progress requires allies who will listen to each other. It turns out that in the case of Germany, the National Security Agency took his comment literally, as you found out. How do we, how should Western countries strike a balance between, on the one hand, collecting the intelligence that guarantees our security, and on the other hand, uh, not engaging in overzealousness that damages important relationships with friends? I think that the, the political class in Berlin, if I may say so, doesn't need to be um, supervised and monitored by intelligence services in order to find out what they're actually thinking. I mean, just go for dinner with them, go for lunch with them, uh, or read the papers, and you know 99.9% .9 of what they actually think. Ladies and gentlemen, it's said that Henry Kissinger once asked in frustration, if I want to call Europe, who do I call? And after today's performance, I would say that if you want to call Europe, call Angela Merkel. Well, I felt very privileged uh, to be there, uh, to listen to uh, arguably the most influential uh, politician in Europe. Uh, I thought you gave uh, an extraordinary address. But look, I was particularly moved, and I'm still recovering, if that doesn't sound too silly, by the sight of a Holocaust survivor, Frank Lowy, here in Australia, introducing a German Chancellor who is a woman. <laughs> I really found that combination exceptionally moving. Uh, it's a reminder of just how important Europe still is to Australia as an economic partner and, uh, and also as a... Uh, partner in secure, on the security front as the world is changing so fast. I thought it was uh, well considered, it was um, broadly focused and particularly relevant to the G20 and to our own region.